guys, it's Rebecca. Thank you so much for tuning into our channel today. Today I'm going to be talking about what it feels like to be a full-time single mom, a full-time working mom as a massage therapist, and a homeschooler. So stick around. I hope you enjoy. Hey guys, it's Rebecca. Thank you so much for tuning back into our channel. And today I thought I would just take a couple minutes to go over a few things about what it's like to be a working single homeschooling mom. <laughs> um, so first I kind of want to go over why we chose to homeschool. Um, so we live outside of Atlanta, Georgia, which has kind of been a hot spot for um, COVID-19. And so back in March, our school, Sadie was in first grade, and they went from um, face-to-face -face instruction to virtual online school. And it was really hard to navigate because, of course, the teachers were kind of just thrown into it and they just were having to do their best. So we struggled with it a bit. And one thing that we really struggled with was I found out that Sadie would get called out in class if she didn't know an answer. Um, and so it had created kind of a panic response with her. And so anytime she didn't know the answer to a question, she would just get really upset and start crying. So that was kind of when I started thinking about, is it possible for me to homeschool? Can I do this? So then I started thinking about how there's certain topics especially in the climate of the world that I would like to cover in school. Um, make sure that she gets a well-rounded world history um, curriculum, for example. So that's kind of when I started thinking about it even more. And um, Sadie and I live with my parents. We actually moved home when Sadie was in my tummy. So um, I started talking to my mom about it like, what did she think? Did she think I could do it? Did she think I should do it? And we just really felt like it was the right thing. I also, with being a working mom, I miss out on a lot of Sadie's life with her being in public school. And so part of it was me just wanting to be able to have some more quality time together, especially because that's something that she expresses often that she would want to have. So that's when I made the decision that I would want to try homeschooling. So I talked to Sadie about it and she was super excited about it. <laughs> um, and so we took the leap and decided to just start homeschooling. So then how do we do it? I started researching curriculums and there are so many awesome curriculums out there, but a lot of them are very structured. And with our life being the way it is, I needed something that I could kind of schedule around our life. So I ended up buying a variety of different workbooks, which I'll probably do um, a video on all of what we're using this year at a future date, as well as Day in the Lives. Days in the Life, Zizzas. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't be teaching anyone else. But anyway, um, um, so I needed something that on days that I have a full schedule, I could make it where she would not be introduced any new themes or new ideas. Hey, Mr. Turtle. Um, and I would be able to have it more where she's independent. So I have it set up where when I started writing our curriculum, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday is when new ideas are introduced. Not always, but those are the days that any new ideas will be introduced. And Tuesdays and Thursdays are more review, so that way if a Tuesday or a Thursday I needed to schedule my work appointments for most of the day, she can do a lot of the work independently um, with my mom overseeing her. And that's another thing, I didn't want it to be a large burden on my mom because she already watches Sadie for me while I'm working. Um, so, so far we're what, six weeks in? There's been two days where Sadie's had to work independently, and she's done a great job. And uh, there's been one time where we just missed a day, and we ended up actually working on a Saturday rather than a Friday. 
Um, and, but it's working really good for us. We're having a really good time. Um, it works out good too because I'm a massage therapist so if there's um, a morning I work then we do school in the afternoons. We just try to write it around our, our life and our schedule. Now there's a lot of really great resources out there for you. Um, if you're a single parent, um, a single working parent, one um, is this blog. It's called Practical by Default and I'll link that down below. It's by Jen McKinnon and she does a great job. She's got time management, she's got all kinds of stuff, all kinds of tools, kid-friendly um, recipes, all kinds of stuff like that. Um, I recently got into a YouTube um, homeschooling YouTube group and there's so many great channels on there. I'm still getting to know everyone and working through them all, but I will definitely be giving you guys that information going forward of who is best for what, because they're all fantastic. I've learned so much from them already. And um, yeah, so that's pretty much the basics about me and what we've got going on. Uh, if you guys have any other questions, go ahead and drop them in the comments and I'll be happy to answer them for you. And I just want to say thank you to all you guys for your support. And if there's anything else other than a day in the life and um, what we're using for curriculum, and of course our continued adventures that you guys would like to see us make videos, videos about. Please comment down below those as well, okay? Love you, have a great day. Thank you so much.